All right, now we get to add some more fun to our basic sine graph and see what happens with this. So let's graph y equals three sine of two x. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. We have an extra number in here. What do, what do we do with that? I, I think I get the three, the three in front of that function, that, that told me that it's amplitude, so I know it stretches by a factor of three. But what in the world does this two do? What in the world does this two do? do? Well, let's let's work this through and kind of get a sense. This two helps us to understand what its period is. Before, when it, when there was no number there, it was assumed one. So we assume that the natural period of one cycle of the graph was two pi. So now, what this is going to do is, is this is going to constrict and kind of um, uh, I don't know what the word is, make our graph a little bit uh, its frequency faster. So what we'll do is we'll find its period, and its period is going to be discovered by taking 2 pi and divide by this value. So this particular function of sine has a reoccurring pattern or repeats every pi. So let's go ahead and put a zero on here, and let's put a pi oh, right about there, I suppose. To help find the other key spots, what we did is we took the period and divided it up into four equal sections. So its new period is pi. Four equal sections means divide it by four. And so I get pi four. So something cool is happening every pi fours. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so I have a pi fourths there. Then I have a pi halves. Then I have a three halves, pi fours plus pi fours. Um, then that gives me three quarters pi, and then a pi. So there's my key points along the graph where I know that it crosses at pi. That's one rotation, it means it crosses uh, again at zero, crosses there. Pi force, that's the first point. That's where my maximum value is at. And my maximum value is a three. One, two, three. So my highest graph is up there at three. One, negative two, negative three. So we can go ahead and start to graph this a little bit. So this is a maximum. So I'm going to put a maximum value there. This is a minimum value right there. And there I have the graph of y equals three. Its amplitude is three times sine of two x, which took its basic graph and squished it by a half. And then it would continue on. If I want to continue on, I could extend the graph by putting some key points every pi halves. So what's that one? Five fourths pi. Uh, then three halves pi. And so forth. and then backwards as well. So that's one thing I can discover and I can do when I look at some of the different um, um, modifications we'll do to our basic graph. This is my amplitude. The textbook might call that an A. Uh, this right here is my squishiness and the textbook might re label that as a B, but this helps me determine, determine what my period is.